James Tushin with Ag Tire Talk here. I'm with Dave Pock, Manager of Field Technical Services with BKT. Today we're going to talk about an Agrimax factor. It's a 70 series R1W. Just a couple points, a little different than the norm. It's got a polyester carcass. It's EV stamped um, with a D speed rated 40 miles per hour. Let me start off the discussion, Dave. So why'd you build this thing? So most ag tires are built with a nylon casing. And if you remember back in the old days, uh, when car tires and light truck tires were built with nylon casings, they flat spotted yes, if they set for a long distance of time. Amen. So poly polyester doesn't flat spot like that. Um, in in Europe, where we sell where we sell a lot of tires, this tire it, it rodes better, it it rides on the highway better. Uh, you don't get the flat spots, that kind of. It's thing. got better stability overall. It's got, it's got better stability, yes, and it's got better st stability, and it handles better when steering. Yes, so, the steering piece. Yeah. Well, you know, and it made a lot of sense to me. You know, this is EV stamped electrification ready. <laughs> you know, as we move into the electrified uh, motors, you know, it's a very high torque. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that polyester, more stability should help with that. Is that not correct? Yes, it you you should get more stability. You will get more stability with it. And also those EV tractors are no different than cars. They're very heavy. And yes. they have a lot of torque because of the batteries. Yeah. And so you have to build those tires where they'll handle they'll handle the weight of of the machine and we and that agrimax factor we're building that in some smaller it's a 70 series tire but we're building it in 24 inch 28 inch 30 inch tires as well as 17 70 38 and 42s which is a little bit bigger than generally what's going on ev tractors at the moment but we do build it in smaller sizes very good you know one thing um correct me if i'm wrong you've um changed the lug a little bit i think you've elongated a little bit for a little bit lower rolling resistance is that correct we have and and it does and and it actually makes it pull a little bit better in the field most of our tires have a 45 degree angle on them and the 45 degree gives you it's kind of a, a best of both worlds kind Amen. of deal. It, it, it does good in the field it does good on the road it rides well the Agrimax factor actually has about a 43 degree lug on it. So we've elongated the lug a little bit and changed the, um, uh, from 45 to 43%. Uh -huh. percent. So, so, uh -huh. so it still does good on the highway. It pulls good in the field. And so again, you're, you're it's not that much difference in change, but it is a little, so. Excellent. Excellent. Great to see that new innovation and really not only catering to the market, but really, improving the overall characteristics of the tire as well. And, you know, the other point that I think is important to note as we continue to move faster, it is D-speed rated. Yes. <laughs> yes. And and although most most Deers, Case, New Hollands, the things we see in the U.S., they run 30, 31 miles an hour. They're, we're starting to see a lot more tractors come from overseas that will run 40 miles an hour at some point. Our domestic made tractors will probably run 40 miles an hour. Hey, Matt, you know, the great thing about doing D speed rate, it allows the machinery to just kind of grow right into it in most segments. So perfect, perfect. Well, great. So let's see if I've got this all straight. We're talking about the Agrimax factor. It's a 70 series. Yes. It's an R1W. It's a polyester casing. And it is made with a variety of sizes, all the way from the smaller sizes up to 710, 70, 42. And it's also electrification ready with some nice tweaks when it comes to the lung angle, elongating that lug and really working on the rolling resistance. And not only that, but the stability with that polyester carcass. So uh, what else do you got to add to that, my friend? You pretty much said it all. <laughs> all right. I mean, I th it, it's a... We're, we continue to come out with new sizes of it, uh, and I'm sure there'll be some new sizes coming out in the future. Um, it, but it, it seems to be a really good, really good tire so far. Europe's running quite a few. We're starting to get a few into the U.S., so it's a, it looks like a good tire. You know, and as a wrap, we did a social media post on this particular tire with electrification stamping. It, it, man, it did so good. People are really highly interested in it, so I'm sure they will be on the podcast on this podcast presentation as well. And that's a wrap. Thank you. Thank you, James.